with that line. Rishi Bagri, I'm coming to you and uh, Rashid Kidwai, the author, is also with us on the broadcast. Rishi, the key question that the, which is being asked from the government is, and these are certain sections within the Muslim community which are saying, this is undue interference and this is some kind of targeting or singling out of the community which is happening. No, you need to understand that Uttar Pradesh has more than 16,000 of madrasas. Hmm. And it is made to appear as if uh, if police would be raiding this madrasa. It's nothing like that. You know, the teams from the education department would be visiting this madrasa for collecting hmm. data about the teachers, about the students, the curriculum which is getting uh, taught there, and the affiliation of the unrecognized uh, madrasa with their non-government organization. Even the autonomous schools and colleges are being, you know, surveyed regularly. I'm not talking about madrasa. The, the, even the autonomous colleges and normal schools, the private schools, are being surveyed and audited regularly by the education department. Hmm. And and this edu this step, this initiative, is being taken uh, from because of the demand raised by the UP madrasa board. Hmm. Now you need to understand that even the madrasa owners. Hmm. Can can approach UP government with these kind of with all these details voluntary hmm. so that the government can you know ensure the benefit of the various you know government schemes reaches to them like hmm. imparting hmm. various skills and development training hmm. and the objective of this survey is three uh, there are three objectives of the survey one is to promote the quality education among the yeah. youth yeah. for the all around development hmm. secondly bring this institution into the mainstream, which is most important thing. Hmm. Secondly, you know, to quality education, like you need to include English, uh, Hindi and social, uh, like uh, the regional languages and the, and the social sciences. Uh, well, so Rishi, you're, you're right the, in pointing out these stated objectives, but you know, the entire politics around it, Mr. Rashid Kidwai, how much of merit is there? I mean, you know, outside the political narrative of what we are witnessing, you cannot deny the fact that madrasas do need modernization. You cannot deny the fact that there should be more state support and regulation of madrasas. But out of 16,500, roughly 500 are covered in the state of Uttar Pradesh alone. And that points out to the largest scenario across the country. That being said, one cannot deny the problem of radicalization that exists in various uh, uh, madrasas or what kind of education which is being taught. How does one really tread on this very tricky topic? And politically, uh, you know, we get polarized reactions on this topic. Yes, Anisha, I'm glad that you're conducting this debate in a very uh, kind of uh, uh, sensitive and measured manner. The key problem here is uh, of overt politicization of this thing. Hmm. And nobody, uh, we all are, I have extensively written and reported about it. You see, madrasas need modernization. Now, the problem is who will build the cat? If the state should do it the way, uh, you know, Singapore has done it, the way Australia has done it, or several countries are doing it, there is very little or no engagement. And you will be surprised, Anusha. You see, the government of India would not know, and I'm saying it on the basis of my own research, how many madrasas exist in the country. Hmm. Can you imagine this? Second thing, there is no way, you know, the madrasa curriculum is... Uh, is goes back to 17th and 18th century. So there is no modernization. You can obviously go on, uh, you know, blaming the community. But the you see, community leaders have been trying very hard to have some kind of thing of, uh, let's say, centralized madrasa board, uh, standard, uh, uh, you know, curriculum. Nothing of this is happening. Hmm. I have held several kind of meetings with Mr. Mukhtar Abbas Nafi and on the basis of my research papers, hmm. uh, we tried. See, only 4%, just allow me one one thing which sure. will tell you the sure. significance of Madar hmm. See, Anusha, only 4% of, uh, you know, Muslims and very poor Muslims go to Madarsa. Hmm. But the people that they produce, that Imam and Mozin and extra various religious people, they cover 100%. On every Friday, hmm. these people, Madarsa pass out people, go to various mosques uh, mosque and give sermon. So, if you're a doctor, yeah. engineer, whatever you are, you get to hear what they're saying. Kidwai, so, there is a uh, in the, in the same, in the same spirit of having a nuanced debate and that tone and tenor, would you also agree that within the community, there are certain sections which are not open to reform? And the voices from within the community, which are progressive voices, modern voices, believers who believe in their religion and yet want to reform it in the, within the you know, boundaries of the religion, they have not been as vocal as they should have been. 
again and if you see the onus is again on a community now the thing is if government uh, feels that you know madrasas need to be modernization who is stopping them but there is no engagement it's been 8 years there's been no engagement at all hmm. that is the root cause of problem no, they but, will be but but sir mr kidai uh, the the up government has multiple programs that they are running they are trying to cover a lot of madrasas uh, the Very union government has said Very that we'll try and give them as much infrastructure Very as much as possible are you seeing all these efforts are not enough in fact the reform of madrasas that entire project goes back to 1983 this is not the first time that we are trying to do it absolutely what i'm saying is it's going on so there are problem areas there are things about uh, you know you, uh, you know better uh, legal aspects than me some of the legal problems are there some people of course there is resistance from community but i'm yeah. saying that that can be overcome because if 80% people are willing to negotiate and engage you mm -hmm. involve them then you know 20% will come around you cannot okay. go on believing let's, let's see sir so we'll talk more Muslims about this engagement it. argument because Uh, to what extent does this really hold and has reform in this country across the community the majority and the minority has been a process of engagement or perhaps has been thrust upon them post post independence in fact that is the story of uh, you know the hindu court bill that you have in this country the reform really did not come from within i want to